He's often described as being only marginally more mature than the fifth graders he teaches, but when it comes to elementary school band, he is the perfect blend of humor and harmony. And after decades as that band director who was there for the overture, he is preparing for the coda of his career. Lightly roll, one, two, three, and you're in. Tim Aston is fluent in fifth grader. Once you're on that floor, it's showtime. Three beat count up. Eyes with me, please. You're going to be amazing. And that didn't happen by accident. That happened because you worked very hard. And over the last few weeks, his young musicians fine tune their tones for the school holiday concerts. Nicely done. Line 39, please. A little my dreidel. He is a musician. Rest position. One more time. Here we go. A band now director his entire career. And up. Three beat count up. I count. And about three, 10 years ago, four, he landed his dream three, job, three. putting instruments in the hands of Missoula fifth graders in seven different schools. That's like Carnegie Hall. Teaching them that to squeak like out what he calls those show. glorious pre-music awesome. sounds. And you did it. He says too. it felt like home. The whole thing, drums too. You can hear their eyeballs click. You know, when they get something, they, you know, and no, you can't hear their eyeballs click, but. It's the same thing, you know, and just those moments are, you know, they're priceless. They're, that's what I do this for. And here's the thing. He goes wow. to them, <laughs> driving about 125 miles around Missoula each week to seven different elementary schools, oh. where he quickly turns cafeterias now for the xylophone into little concert halls, then back again. Saxophones. Over and over and over again. It's like, whoa, man. How do you do that? I don't know. I just keep going. Lattes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, go. But this was all filled with trombones, trumpets. At least 90% of Missoula County it's Public School fifth graders are either in band or orchestra, accounting for the mostly empty instrument shelves in Tim's office. They have to be able to play melody instruments, you know. Two, three, you're in. <laughs> He could direct more experienced musicians. And we try again. But he loves untangling the tunes that tumble from these little fingers. He loves being what he calls a 65-year-old cheerleader, finding the good in all that noise and celebrating that. And other kids will take months, months to figure it out. You know, but then there's that day where all of a sudden, you know, and then we do a happy dance together, you know. My biggest pride is I get to ignite the flame. I'm a spark in a manner of speaking. That's so cool. But this is his last Morning. year as the MCPS oh. traveling fifth grade yeah. band teacher. His last Christmas concerts. He's going out on a high note, retiring before he gets tired. Nice. He's leaving a trail of melodies and memories behind him. I'm like 65, I don't feel it, I don't behave it. I've been accused of being the world's oldest eighth grader, but aside from that, I don't, it's just something I've been blessed with. And I, I, I mean that you know, very sincerely. So It's always been about more than just the scales or sheet music. Tim Aston, a teacher, a cheerleader, a mentor, who struck a chord with an entire generation of young musicians. Tim tells me he believes music allows kids to be a part of something special, whether they continue playing or not. Because, he says, the lessons learned in the band stay with those kids long after the concert is over. In Missoula, Jill Valley, MTN News.